Hey guys, welcome back to Dit Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Hertz from Latent Lemon Audio. So I didn't know what to expect from this pedal. I hadn't heard of uh, Latent Lemon before. Plugging it in, it has immediately become one of my favorite fuzz pedals. I believe it's kind of based um, on like one of those harmonic percolator type of circuits. I've played a lot of those types of circuits and this one really stands out to me. It sounds so, so good and all gain ranges and all kind of control settings. It's just so um, in your face and so uh, punchy and spitty and it just sounds so good. So it is a germanium fuzz pedal, vintage style fuzz pedal um, with germanium transistors in it like I said uh, so it is quite sensitive to temperature and the environment which is all cool um, as long as you're aware of that um, then we're all fine. Uh, controls wise on this pedal we have balance on the right hand side which is your volume then we have harmonics on the right hand side which is your overall distortion and gain and in the middle we have a sputter which controls the bias of the uh, yeah controls the bias of the circuit. To the right is um, kind of how the original harmonic percolate would have sound. Turning it down increases the spit and sputter of the pedal and this is where it really shines for me. Having that Sputter control at about nine o'clock. There's something really magic that happens in this pedal, and it just sounds so cool. There's so much character in it as well. We also have two switches. We have a deep switch, which kind of controls a bit more of the low end, useful for you bass players or um, you people who like to down tune a bit, but it also increases some oscillation in certain settings. Uh, having that deep switch kind of opens the pedal up a little bit. Then we also have a three-way switch on this side which switches between your uh, diodes. So we have germanium diodes on the top, silicon on the bottom and then none in the middle. So the pedal again really opens up. So that's about it. There are some internal controls. Um, one which controls kind of like an, a faux um, sub octave thing um, and also like a gain trim as well. I've set those as they, well I haven't set them at all, they've just come stock as with the pedal, I thought that was the best way and I don't feel like I need to change the tone of this pedal, it's like I said at the beginning of the video, it's be quickly become probably one of my top five ever fuzz pedals, loving this pedal. Really cool design, I really like the print, on the back we've got some greyhounds, um, I don't know what this little thing on the side is, there's like a little hole in the enclosure, I don't know if that is to um, regulate the temperature inside the pedal, I really don't know, I've not seen that before on a pedal. Um, I might have to ask him what that is because that's really interesting. Um, so yeah, let's jump into some tones. I'm using my uh, Telecaster today which is still tuned down to C. So standard tuning down to C. So it's really low, really deep, almost baritone tuning. And it really shines with this pedal. Into the Victory V40 with a bit of reverb from the amp. <laughs>
Thanks for checking out the video guys, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!